Today I have a challenge. I will try to finally fix the Goblin Synergy. But this will not be an easy task because I mean, this Synergy it is absolutely busted. I mean, who looked at this and thought, yes, this sounds like a balancing, a 40% dodge chance. Yeah, that is not gonna be in my Clash Mini. So, let's dive right into it. And if you want to see more rework ideas like this, leave a like and subscribe, it helps a lot around. So starting off we have Goblin Synergy. In case you have somehow no idea what it does, at 2 goblins all the goblins have a 30% dodge chance to attacks, which is already way too high, and at 4 goblins the whole team has a 40% dodge chance against attacks. Like that's just crazy. You're nearly half of the time dodging attacks. The only thing that you can dodge is a super pretty much. And I don't want RNG on this game. I, I definitely don't want that. So at two goblins, all of the goblins who have injury, they will dodge the next damage. Damage. So if they are like at 50% and they get a blast from a wizard, they will just dodge it. Like miracle kind of thing. But it is guaranteed and it's only one dodge. And on top of that, when they reach 1 HP, they will gain immortality and invulnerability for 0.1 seconds. So that means that when they are at 1 HP, they will just survive. They will survive at 1 HP, kinda sneaking in to deal some final damage. Trust me, it's not as broken as it sounds, and you'll probably only technically dodge 2 times at max, which is still really really good. And finally, for the 4 Goblin, there will be no team thing, this, the Goblin Synergy will really only be a Goblin Synergy. At 4 Goblins, whenever any Goblin gets any sort of buff, they will gain guaranteed dodge. As simple as that. So, if a Natureborn heals a Goblin, they will dodge the next damage. Attention, I do not mean every tick of healing, for example, I only really mean when you receive the actual buff. If they receive block somehow, if they receive a damage buff, if they receive an attack speed buff, so they would actually kind of work well with Lumberjack, they could work well with Barbarian King. I also want to mention that dodges cannot stack. Dodges are a thing that you cannot stack, so like, if a Dark Goblin is in the back and he's just ramping up, and the Barbarian King pulled out like 3 supers in total, the Dark Goblin is still only gonna dodge one attack, and obviously the injury and the last uh, stand ability, kinda. And with this, I hope that the Goblins become a lot more predictable about when they can actually dodge, and just don't be this completely RNG unpredictable thing. It's just annoying how strong they are. Most of the goblins aren't even strong, but because of the synergy, you just need to play them. That is the problem with the goblin synergy. The goblin synergy is so but so broken that the goblins are broken by being part of it. And I hope that with this really big rework, the goblins become a way much more balanced synergy, but a still viable one. Obviously, by reworking the goblin synergy, the goblins will actually be kinda bad, so I would actually also want to do some tiny balance changes to the goblins themselves. Starting with the dagger goblin. The dagger goblin to me, it feels really weak, so I would actually like that his passive, the passive would be 6 times attack speed at baseline. And the second ability, it would be that while you are on the rampage mode, you would also deal anti-heal and deal double the damage. But to kind of compensate for that, his damage would be reduced from 3 to 2. This is just to make the rampage a lot more important in certain way, because the rampage feels pretty useless. Especially if you're actually just walking, because it does not improve your movement speed as well, so 
it only increases the attack speed so i hope that by increasing the time and the aggressiveness on it it should work pretty well not to mention that it'd be also kind of good with the boast ability and the injury is already good by itself so i don't think that the injury actually needs any real change for the Spear Goblin, I want his Clash damage to be increased from 10 to 15 and his first upgrade to be increased from 10 to 15 bonus damage as well. I already asked that like in all of my balance changes videos pretty much. But what I would also like is that his second upgrade would be applying anti-heal with the Clash for 8 seconds. Kinda how it used to be before the update 8. With the bonus damage, it would actually be pretty good because you would deal tons of damage and it would be very hard to heal back on it. That is kind of the major problem that the Spirit Goblin has. You heal, but then there is no big deal about it. You just receive the damage and then heal. And for the third ability, I would just like that would be Injury, you do the Clash ability onto the nearest enemy. So the Goblin just gets injured and then he would just do the clash. Attention, it would be the base clash. So if you already upgrade, he'll not just throw out a 30 damage anti-heal spear, no. He'll just throw the 15 damage spear, which it would still be very strong, but it wouldn't make him at least viable. Not to mention that he has little to no HP, so most of the times he would die before even throwing the spear. Next we have the Dark Goblin, and honestly I just want to see a tiny nerf in his last ability. Instead of being 4 times damage against shields, I just want it to be 3 times damage. 4 times damage shields by itself is not really that big of a deal, but if he has literally any other sort of bonus damage, he'll just destroy the shield and the health. It just gets crazy. Like, if he has the bolts, he'll just deal 16 damage with one shot. That is just way too much. So, just that tiny nerf to make him slightly more balanced. And finally we have the bowler which I don't even consider a goblin but sure. His third upgrade needs some sort of nerf. I don't know exactly or maybe even a rework because the fact that you can just permanently stun and permanently push some guy with your basic attack and pierce everyone in Clash Royale it makes sense but in Clash Mini, that is just a way to overpowered ability. I like the idea, but with his recent buff to the HP and the attack speed especially, it just feels a bit unfair that third ability. So maybe do it like every third attack and increase like to a 1 second stun? That would probably what I would do. But I want to hear your thought as well. What did you thought about this whole Goblin rework and do you have any ideas that you would like to see on them? Write in the comments down below, trust me, I will read them. Hope you enjoyed and see you on the next video.